Hello, welcome to the Apex Networks training for the RMS system. This is part of our online training program developed by Apex Networks to assist you in getting the very most from your software. This short video will cover system users. We recommend you play this video on a separate device from that you are setting your system up on. This will allow you to pause, rewind and keep pace of your progress without having to switch screens. To begin staff setup, go to the menu icon on the top left of your screen and then select Settings from the 10 applications. Here you will see System Users, Drivers and Technicians. Within the RMS system there are three categories that your staff will fall under. The first is System User. These are those that need to log on to a desktop version of Apex RMS. These are usually staff members such as controllers, managers or administration staff. The next is Driver. Your member of staff will need to be set up as a driver before you can allocate a recovery job to them. Finally, we have Technicians. Your member of staff will need to be set up as a technician before you can allocate any workshop work to them. The tutorial for drivers and technicians can be found in the separate tutorial section, Drivers and Technicians. You may also find it useful to watch the Roles and Permissions tutorial before you begin your setup of system users. Members of staff can be set up as all of these positions, or just one or two. They can be set up in any order. Once a member of staff has been entered into the system as either user, driver or technician, the system will automatically begin to set up their profile in the HR management section of the system. It's useful to note that you don't need permission to access the HR section to set up new members of staff. You will only need access to system settings. It's important that all members of staff using the system have their own individual login password. This will help to keep your system, data and business secure. You can set up an unlimited number of users on your system, but your license agreement with Apex will determine how many users can be logged onto the system at the same time. We recommend that if the system user is away from their workstation, they log out of the Apex RMS. Click on the Users icon to open up the list of users. When setting up a new system, you will probably only have the purchaser of the software set up already. To add a new user, click on the button marked New User at the bottom right hand corner of the list. This will open up a new user template. This is divided into two sections, employee details and connection details. The employee details will show details such as name, address, date of birth, telephone and email addresses. Please note that the work email address will be used by the system for any lost or forgotten passwords and any reporting or notifications that you set up later. When you enter the staff member's name, if they have previously been entered into one of the sections, a pop-up will ask if this is the same person. If it's the same person, click on the button marked Select and the system will pre-populate most of their details. If you don't see this pop-up, you will need to manually add the details yourself. Here we have the status of the staff user. This can be deleted for staff who no longer work for you. Here we have job title and here we have base location. Base location is for companies that are running more than one site or depot. If each depot is its own cost center, you need to make sure you are applying your member of staff to the correct cost center. Next are the connection details. The username is usually an initial and then surname, all in lower case. We have entered David Green, so we will make his login D Green. The password can be something simple to start with, so we recommend just using the word password. Below the username and password details is a tick box, change on next login. By ticking this, it will enforce a change of password on the next login by this user. This is so that the user can set their own password. Once you have entered all of the required details in this area, click on the create button in the bottom right hand corner. When clicking on the create button, the password details will disappear. This is normal. Once you've created a new user profile and entered personal information, you will see two other tabs will now become active. These are user roles and application profiles. Once the system has recognized a new user, user roles will allow you to add levels of access as well as a permission level for each of the system applications. Click on the tab user roles. You will note the text, this user has no role set up. At the bottom of the screen, click on application. This drop down menu shows each of the six Apex RMS applications that the system user should have access to. We will choose the section that we need this staff member to use, Rescue and Recovery. Next, if you have more than one site or depot, click on the one that is relevant. The next drop down is marked Role. 
This will offer you the level of access for this user. Please refer to the roles and permissions tutorial for how these work. David is a manager, so we are going to give him a manager's permission level. Add this role to David's profile. We will also add purchase order system, all sites at administrator level. Continue doing this until you have all of the roles built up that you need for this user. The third tab is application profiles. This section is for use with the purchase manager system within Apex RMS. Each user with access to the purchase management section can raise a purchase order. Purchase orders must be authorized by a manager or authorized person. This is where the purchase authorization is administered. The top field shows the maximum purchasing amount per order excluding VAT. A four digit PIN number in the next field followed by confirmation. You cannot authorize purchase orders over the limit you have set up on your user profile. If there are no purchase order values set up on your user profile, you need to ask someone with it set up to do this section. Click on Save. This person will now have purchasing approval rights up to this amount, excluding VAT. Click back onto Personal Information. Click on Save in the bottom right hand corner, and there we can see David's created profile. Go back to the Manage Users section, you will see the last login that someone has made on the system with a time and date shown. This shows you another reason why it's very important that users don't use each other's login details or leave their system open.